hurting all of them She be like a truck and she load up But she still love me for what she heard of The girl want the sweet to be go love, to be go love I had to say, whoa, slow down already whoa. Too much your energy whoa. I live in the country, somehow you know the girl fight me Okay, basically, um, I used to go to Nottingham Carnival Choir Law and I used to go to Leeds Carnival as well. And then when I met the organizers, actually, then we found out like there's nothing like this in Paisley. And then the way that one day or two days those guys were organizing the carnival made everybody to come together, all different cultures to come together and celebrate it and they put their differences aside. So I decided to start this in Scotland and we started it in two th July 2013 and the first day we did the carnival people came together and they enjoyed themselves and then we decided to do it again this year and a lot of people, the parade was so beautiful. So <laughs> myself and Ram and we developed it and it's look how wonderful it is and I'm just praying that the people of Paisley embrace this heritage and culture and run with it and actually develop it and make it into a large festival so that everybody can enjoy this multicultural show of vibrancy. It is one way of getting the community together. As vibrant, man, as colour, you know. really getting people to accept perhaps a culture they've not seen before and embracing it and going yeah actually that's pretty good and realising there's things outside their, their town um, and this is the second year so I think based on last year people are actually preparing to see it this year because they now know it's coming. I 
I'm Stephanie McClellan and I'm hosting the Paisley Diversity Festival today. It's been an amazing day. It's sunny, it's big, it's just, it's been excellent. The atmosphere has been amazing. I'm so happy to have been part of this today. This is growing because I've done it the first time, 2012, when I came up with Britain's Got Talent. So it looked like it's three, year, two years on now, and it's gone a bigger carnival, and it's going to get better and bigger as well. It's magnificent. I think it's really wonderful. Um, I mean, I've been here from early when the park was empty and it didn't look like it was going to fill up. But if you see the crowd out there now, um, and what's good about it, it's nothing to do with the Commonwealth. This is just about people coming together to embrace Caribbean culture uh, at a time when they wouldn't get it. And, you know, and so they're getting it and they are really enjoying it. Afro-Caribbean Carnival, um, not just for the um, Afro-Caribbean and other ethnic um, uh, people who live in uh, Paisley, but also for um, you know everybody that lives in Paisley. Right? What what we experienced on the day was a you know a great deal of fun, a great deal of joy, but also learned how um, other people um, act, think, and, and uh, enjoy themselves. And if you include the people who lined the route up to Marshall Park with the three and a half thousand that were in there, I'm sure that there was at least seven thousand people you know, involved throughout the, the day. Um, you know, that's a huge part of uh, Paisley's population and everybody was supportive. Um, I certainly want to thank the, the council and the police and uh, the other groups that were uh, involved in it. But a particular thank has to go to uh, to Reem, which is Brentfordshire's empowering ethnic minorities, the group that, uh, that took this task on. Uh, I think they did a great job and I would always support um, any community organisation that did such a good job. The ideas and plans for next edition is like to see a way f like the community could even participate in organising the carnival themselves and also try to do workshops for the carnival and even the community, like a small organisation could, could start to create costumes and form groups where all of us we can come together and also those the community could have the costumes. What you're trying to do here is like you go have local groups from from Paisley and what they are trying to do is like they are trying to create masks for the carnival. Like Katrina, Katrina came with the sun. So because there's not too much for the sun to do 
after another. <coughs> so what we are trying to do is that we are trying to go to go, we are going to get uh, to do uh, moms and and children uh, workshops. So we are by they can interact each other, and this is how they even find out what children actually want to do in the future. And you could see uh, her son is it has done something. Can you show? Can you show them? Can you show what you've done? Wow! So I will take a picture. I will do. Wow! You know? So you can see he has done that, and then in future it's gonna be one of our things in 15 years time to come. Will be the costume developer yeah. for the carnival. You know? so the young lady here, she's only 16. So we are trying to even bring the youth people in as well, so like they can have something to do. So even her, what basically, uh, in six years, six months time, she's going to be in charge of some costumes, and she will teach her youth people how to develop masks. And